The Senate's version of the ever-changing state legislation around area education agencies is on to the next chamber after surviving the debate floor. Our Dana Searles has been following this and joins us now to break down what's included in this bill and where it goes from here, Dana. Well, Stephanie, this has been somewhat of a back and forth between the House and the Senate surrounding these reforms, but now we are back to one bill, which is the Senate's bill. That was what was adopted and passed earlier today. There was a complete strike through of the House's bill and six Republicans joined the Democrats in voting against both the amendment and the overall bill. The Senate passed their version of reforms to area education agencies, which would put schools in control of majority of the funds and allow them to eventually seek private contractors for services currently provided by AEAs. This is the right direction to go. We need more local control on how these dollars are spent. This vote comes as Senate Republicans made a complete strike through amendment on the House's bill, which was significantly different from Reynolds' proposal. Can every system be improved? Of course. But we don't dismantle them and risk thousands of kids' futures to do it without careful and intentional stakeholder input. By 2025, schools would have control of 90% of special education funding and 60% of media services and general education services funding. Why do we have to sit here and propose bills and talk about funding for dyslexia when we supposedly have a system in place that receives millions of dollars of taxpayer funding annually to provide those services? Well, I contest because they've been overseeing themselves for far too long. The Department of Education would have complete oversight of AEAs and those against emphasize that this is lawmakers searching for a problem. My heart hurts for every family in this state that has a child with special needs. My heart hurts for the unnecessary anxiety this bill has created. Since the Senate's amendment was a complete strike through, it now goes back to the House for their consideration. Both chambers must agree on the legislation before it can go to the governor's desk. Now, Governor Reynolds released a statement after the vote thanking the Senate, saying she looks forward to working with both chambers to reach a